What is resilience? Is it the ability to stand firearm in the face of a gale, to bend but not break, or to emerge from the depths of despair, stronger, and more determined than ever? Resilience is all this and more. It's the unseen strength within you. Resilience is not about avoiding the storm, it's about learning to dance in the rain. It's the mental reservoir of strength that humans are able to call upon in times of need to carry them through without falling apart. Psychologically speaking, resilience is the rubber ball factor, the ability to bounce back from life's inevitable hardships and challenges. Neuroscience tells us that resilience is not a trait that people either have or do not have. It involves behaviors, thoughts, and actions that can be learned and developed. The prefrontal cortex and the amygdala play key roles in the neurological processes underlying resilience. It's about balancing the logical and the emotional parts of our brain. History is replete with stories of resilience. Consider the life of Nelson Mandela, who spent 27 years in prison before leading his nation towards freedom and reconciliation. I survived because I remained hopeful. I chose to focus on the possibilities of the future, not the pain of the past. Building resilience is like building a muscle. It requires time, strength, and dedication. It starts with developing a positive attitude, fostering optimism, and maintaining a hopeful outlook. Resilient people tend to maintain a higher level of emotional well-being during hardships by framing disaster as a challenge to be met, rather than a threat. One strategy for building resilience is to establish goals and move towards them. Remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Coping with stress effectively means using problem-solving skills and trusting your instincts. Let's not forget the importance of fostering strong, supportive relationships. They can be your refuge when the going gets tough. Everyday life is full of small tests, traffic jams, work pressure, family disputes. Each presents an opportunity to practice resilience. I've learned to look for the lesson in every challenge, and that's made all the difference. Thomas Edison said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Resilience is about using failure as a stepping stone to success. Each time I fell, it was the ground that pushed me back up. Failure taught me resilience. As we face an ever-changing world, resilience becomes not just a personal tool but a necessary one for the survival of communities and nations. The resilience of our people is the bedrock upon which we will build a brighter future. So, what is resilience? It's the courage to continue, the faith to move forward, and the assurance that you are not defined by your circumstances.